Hello friends, in this video we have brought to you a model of Arduino Uno. This is uh, called LFR port of Arduino. In this we have got an important sensor called IR sensor. So as you can see this is a black line track here. So this port will, is going to follow this line as you are seeing here. So we have got two colors here black and white. So what, are, what we are going to do is that the IR sensor will detect the will send the IR rays or infrared rays and the black color part will absorb the rays and the white color part will reflect the rays and accordingly our bot will move according to the program that we are going to make so as you can see this is the IR sensor it has got three pins VCC ground and output VCC is the power pin ground is power pin and output is for the output signal which will be received by the Arduino board and accordingly <coughs> the board will follow the line and this is the Arduino microcontroller board on the board you can see we have already introduced to this and this is the <coughs> motor driver or we can see L293 d motor driver shield motor driver is basically for driving the two motors this is a two wheel drive we have connected the two motors here so these two motors will be working on the controlling of L293 d motor driver and L293 d is connected to this mini computer called Arduino and IR sensor is also connected to this Arduino board so when the input will be received by the IR sensor this will be given to the Arduino board and Arduino board will control the motors according to the L293 d motor driver shield let's see how it happens so in this we have got the programming window this is the Arduino programming window. You can see that uh, there are uh, five pins that I have declared. Four pins are for output pins and the fifth one is the input pin. So sixth and seventh pin are for one motor and ninth and tenth pin are for the second motor. Fifth one is for the sensor which is receiving the input that is the IR sensor. So the sixth and seventh pin as we already know that there are two kinds of output high and low. So first of all the Arduino should know that on which pin the device is connected. So the two motors are connected on 6, 7, 9 and 10 and the IR sensor is connected on the fifth one. Now come to the loop part. Loop means repetition uh, that is the execution part. In this part we can see that the condition says digital read 5 if the digital read 5 equal equal to high which means that if sensor receives the high output then what will happen is it will execute digital write 6 comma high 7 low 9 low 10 low that means 6 and 7 pins will receive the output as high and low which means that one motor will be on and the other two motors 9 and 10 that is 9 is low and 10 is low so the other motor will be off in this condition so only one motor will work and if it doesn't happen that means if the output is low or input is if the input is low then the else part will be executed that means one the other motor will be started and the previously started motor will be off that means 9 and 10 pin will be high and low and 6 and 7 will be low so in this way our IR sensor will receive input as high and low and with that our motor will start both the motors will work simultaneously one will be off and other will be on according to the input received by the IR sensor so this is how it will follow the line and now we'll see practically how the line follower bot will do it Now you can see that this IR sensor is uh, blinking its light because it is receiving high and low output at the same time. So both the motors are getting on and off according to the input received works. It continuously follow this black line and it will not go out of it. It will follow the complete path wherever there is a black line it will detect it and it will just follow the line. <coughs> 